Hey guys, what's going on? Let me tell you what's going on. Today, I've got the GMG ledge fired up, 250 degrees. We're going to be smoking pork belly brisket style, Texas brisket style. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion, my Texas Trinity. Also going to use some of Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. That stuff's money. I like it. They're going to go great in that pork, but we're going to smoke this 250. I'm anticipating probably six hours. Slice it like a brisket. Smoke it like a brisket. Won't eat it like a brisket, all right? You know me, like I always say, it's going to be fun. It's going to be money. Stick around. belly fat side up right now so we're going to season it as I said with a little trinity good heavy grains Texas style like I said you gotta love that trinity take telling you push that down you know me I don't use binders I know I say that time and time again but if you're new to my channel you're gonna see that no binders come back with Uncle Steve's Smoke bomb. This stuff is killer, guys. Killer. I gotta say. As a guy who makes his own rubs. Also guys, using this Drip Ease tub, marinating tub, it's absolutely fantastic. If you don't have one, get you one. They run about 30, 40 bucks. Collapsible, use a cutting board you see me using in my videos. Never really talk about it, but thanks to the guys at Drip Ease for sending me this while back. It's awesome. All right, gonna let this sit for just a few minutes and we'll get it on the smoker. All right, all right, it's been about 10 minutes. Go ahead and get this on. You can see I've removed one of my upper grates. Don't need it today. Gonna go fat side down. Dead center. Just like that. I'm gonna let it smoke. Let it do its thing. Gonna come back in a little while. I am gonna put a water pan on one end. Gonna wait for a little bit before I do that though. You'll see me here in just a bit. Snap that in there. But I think it's gonna be money. It's been exactly one hour since we put the pork belly on. Let's give it a little look. Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna say it looks like a little brisky. I said a while ago, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of water pans. I said I was gonna put one, but I'm actually gonna put two of these little pans. I'm gonna put one on either side. Kind of towards the back like that. I think it's gonna help a little moisture. Throw it a little hot. that does to them. We'll go from there. See if we're starting to smoke again. Give it a shot. Come back and check it. We're going to wait two more hours. All right, all right, all right. Going to go ahead and check this again. Get a good close-up. Good color. Looks like a brisket flat. Got it. We'll check for tenderness. Not so much temperature. Got a little resistance there. 186. Yeah, it's got a little ways to go. Still a little tight. Still a little tight. Let's go ahead and leave it alone. Come back and check it in a bit. All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look. It's been another half hour since I last checked. Let's see where we're at. I'm feeling a little better. Still got a resistance. It's still about that 180 mark. I'm not gonna wrap it in foil, but what I am gonna do is just lay it on a sheet of foil. Like so. Get that over. 
just like that. I'm not gonna do a boat, I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm just gonna lay it flat, see what that does to it, okay? All right, all right, all right. Let's get another leak. -le. Looking killer. See where we're at now. Oh yeah, a lot better. That is very tender. Little resistance right there. We're getting there, guys. I'm going to try to get it 205 ish. See, it's tight right there. Almost. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. This is pretty much almost the right at the point I wanted. Got a little more resistance on this side. I'm going to let it run. I'm not wrapping it, I'm not going to wrap it. Hey guys, that cook's done. Quick recap, five pound pork belly, seasoned with Texas Trinity, that smoke bomb, put on the GMG ledge, 250 degrees. Took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take just because I didn't wrap, right? Did wind up putting it on foil, little foil boat, kinda, sorta. Took about seven hours. Jiggly, wiggly, probe tender, it's going to be money, I can tell, I can smell it, I've been waiting all day. It's been resting for about half an hour, let's go ahead and cut into it now. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a slice. I believe I'm going to go this way with it first. And slice them just like butter. Oh my god. Of course it is pork fat, pork belly. Try to take it that way. Slice with it. Can go this way with it. I'm not going to slice it all. We'll take a little bit here. Look at that jiggly wiggly. Good color. Let's go ahead and give this a little taste. All right, guys. Little pork belly action. There you go. Look at grease dripping off of there. Killer. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Mm. That's amazing. Worth the seven hour wait. Could have done faster, I'm sure a lot quicker. Mm. That's so good. Could have finished quicker if I would have wrapped it. Didn't want to do that, wanted to try it this way. I'm gonna call it a Texas style pork belly. Amazing, go good on some sandwiches. Go good by itself. Didn't sauce it, maybe put some sauce on it, different flavor, I don't know, but that's killer. Just like it is. No rub or no sauce straight out the box. Good stuff. Thanks guys. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate y'all. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications on future videos. Green Mine and Grill, guys, get you on. Thanks again out to uh HEB for the pork butt. Thanks to Steve for the smoke bomb. Thanks to Galindo's Texas Barbecue for the Trinity. And thanks to Barbecue Outfitters for the GMGs. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't know what that's going to be. You know me. I never know. Always on the fly. Appreciate y'all. Be safe.